Hey guys, Jim here. Welcome back to Abdominal Sonography Reds Review. Feel free to pause the video after I ask the question. You can have time to answer it before I answer it. Let's dive into this thing. Click on the distal portal vein. The answer is going to be right in this region here. What does it mean when the spleen is wandering? A. Accessory spleen B. White pulp C. Highly mobile spleen or D. Splenosis The answer is C. Highly mobile spleen which can show decreased intratesticular flow between the testes. A. Orchitis, B. Varicocils, C. Cryptorchidism, or D. Testicular torsion. The answer is D. Testicular torsion. Click on the isthmus of the thyroid. The isthmus is right here. When visualizing the pancreas in the sagittal view, what structure is directly posterior to the pancreatic head? A. Gastroduodenal artery B. Inferior vena cava C. Left renal vein or D. Superior mesenteric artery The answer is B, inferior vena cava. Put the X on the end of the pancreatic tail. What you'll do is grab this X, drag it, and place it right there. That's the end of the tail. What is the advantage of a spectral Doppler? A. Peak velocity. B. No aliasing. C. Angle dependent. Or D. High sensitive to low flow. The answer is A. Peak velocity. Why would a T3 test be ordered? A. Hyperparathyroidism B. Thyroid nodule C. Hypothyroidism or D. Hyperthyroidism The answer is D. Hyperthyroidism Which is considered an epigastric hernia? A. Indirect hernia B. Direct hernia C. Linea alba hernia or D. Umbilical hernia The answer is C. Linea alba hernia What is the most common malignant liver tumor in children? A. Hepatoblastoma B. Neuroblastoma C. Hemangioma or D. Wilms tumor The answer is A. Hepatoblastoma When you first place your transducer on your patient's neck to visualize the transverse thyroid, what two muscles do you see at the top? 
A. Longus coli and the scalene muscles. B. Sternocleidomastoid and the infrahyoid strap muscles. C. Scalene and the isthmus muscles. Or is it D. Sternocleidomastoid and the suprahyoid strap muscles. The answer is B, sternocleidomastoid and the infrahyoid strap muscles. Why would a T4 test be ordered? A, hyperparathyroidism. B, thyroid nodule. C, hypothyroidism. Or is it D, hyperthyroidism? The answer is C. Hypothyroidism. What type of hernia is this? A. Indirect hernia. B. Direct hernia. C. Linea alba hernia. Or D. Umbilical hernia. The answer is A, indirect hernia. What type of hernia is this? A, indirect hernia, B, direct hernia, C, linea alba hernia, or D, umbilical hernia? The answer is B, direct hernia. What order do you put on PPE? A. Gloves, goggles, apron, mask. B. Apron, mask, goggles, gloves. C. Mask, apron, goggles, gloves. Or is it D. Gloves, mask, goggles, apron. The answer is B, apron, mask, goggles, and then gloves. This ultrasound of the breast demonstrates what pathology? A, nodule, B, fibroadenoma, C, simple cyst, or D, hemangioma. The answer is B, fibroadenoma. Which area is prostate cancer more commonly found? A, transitional zone, B, fibromuscular stroma zone, C, peripheral zone, or D, central zone? The answer is C, peripheral zone. What is the most common malignant kidney tumor in children? A, hepatoblastoma, B, neuroblastoma, C, hemangioma, or D, Wilms tumor? The answer is D, Wilms tumor. Click on the distal portal vein. The answer is going to be right in this region here. This ultrasound of the breast demonstrates what pathology? A nodule. B. Fibroadenoma, C. Simple cyst, or D. Hemangioma.
The answer is C, simple cyst. If you're looking for additional study material like mock exams, go to my website, ultrasoundboardreview.com. Type in ultrasound board review. Click at the top here. Click on enter the pass zone. Scroll down and you'll see the abdominal sonography mock exams right here. Click on this. Scroll down and click subscribe. Or if you're looking for more of a one on one abdominal sonography tutoring, go to my website, type in ultrasound board review, click the first link at the top, click enter the pass zone, scroll down, click abdominal sonography tutoring, scroll down, and then click subscribe. I'm Jim with ultrasoundboardreview.com. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.